And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for patch 110. This is going to be our very first time looking at this. I don't know what's going to be changing here. Um, this is, you are seeing our live reaction. This just came out. We're just minutes after uh, 12 o'clock local time. Um, let's see what balance uh, patch updates there are. Um, all right, so some card updates here. Um, all right, so our patch 110. Um, Okay, so yeah, we didn't have quite enough room to gather all the data they wanted with all the new cards. So we're going to follow up with more balance changes in just two weeks. All right, so in two weeks, we're going to have patch 111. Um, yeah, so that's going to be a greater focus on Targon-specific tuning. Okay, yeah, because they're just kind of leaving Targon cards for right now. That makes sense. That makes sense. So um, that we're going to have adjustments to the difficulty of Aurelian Soul's level-up requirement adding es escalation to Hush's repeatable cost. I like that. I mean, I want to just get rid of it. <laughs> and more Grandfather Rumble. All right, champions. All right, so Ezreal is changing. All right, what's it, what do we got? Um, uh, Ezreal now says three mana, one three, Nexus Strike creating fleeting mystic, mystic Shot in hand. You've targeted enemies 10 plus times. That was, my, that was my guess, was that it was gonna move from eight to 10. So there we go. Yep, it is gonna move from eight to 10. And they say Ezreal's an exciting build around and a unique combo slash control finisher, and we want to preserve all of those things. But his design also presents some is this fun to play against challenges that we've discussed previously. So in increasing the difficulty of Ezreal's quest will ask for additional investment to reach his extremely potent level two form and create more tension in the choice between leveling up his quest and saving damage for the opponent's nexus. All right, cool, cool. So yeah, basically makes it so uh, they got to use more spells on the opponent's units instead of uh, being able to fire off mystic shots upstairs easier. Um, so yeah, Ezreal just got to target two more things. We we have seen a lot of cards that that make it easy to level up Ezreal, like Make It Rain, you know, and then you have stuff like Static Shock and <clears throat> things like that, like Riptide Rex just levels up Ezreal by itself still. So like, you know. Oh, we'll see. Yeah, slows it down just a touch. Yeah, Riptide Rex is just... Doesn't matter. All right, Lee Sin. What is... Oh, okay, so Lee Sin's now four mana. Okay, so reduce the cost by two. Now a three, four. Okay, so four mana, three, four. So a little bit smaller than Shen, but you're basically in that same ballpark. Um, when you cast a spell, give me Challenger this round. If you cast another, give me Barrier. So that's going to be the exact same... Level up is casting eight spells now, not seven. So that it didn't have a. I was expecting it to have some kind of effect on the board whenever you played this. So it's not going. Basically, it just make it a tad bit harder to level up, but no change. Still just a four mana three four. Huh. Lee Sin has been the least played Rising Tides champion since his release. We're reworking him to be a significantly cheaper and able to make an impact earlier in the game while making more sense alongside the double casting archetype. All right, what's the level up? Now it goes to a four or five, of course, gets the plus one, plus one. Um, and nothing changes with the card. That is odd. I, I expected, I don't know, I expected it to have like a, whenever it enters, it does something, or maybe like the abilities were a little bit, a little bit easier like maybe Lee Sin just always had challenger and then you cast like two spells it gets barrier i kind of feel like that would be better like Lee Sin should just always have challenger and then if you cast two spells give Lee Sin barrier um yeah i don't know that's huh Yeah. Okay, then... Oh, they changed the Lee Sin's champion spell to Sonic Wave. That's actually good. Was, um, yeah, that that's actually good. So the champ, the champion spell is now Sonic Wave. Um, that, that makes a lot more sense for Lee Sin. Like, that helps out Lee Sin a lot better. When you have a Lee Sin in play, you'd, you'd usually rather have a Sonic Wave than a Dragon's Rage. Um... So, I mean, this this does make Lee Sin better, I guess, but still not that good. 
not it was not like the i was expecting like a much more of an overhaul than this it's basically just the same card it costs two less um you know like a, a three four on four is like nothing special it's fine but it's nothing special it's huh i do like i think the the biggest buff is like the that Sonic Wave. But, I mean, I guess it makes it easier, like, turn 6, turn 7, to be able to play Lee Sin and also play a couple of spells. Give it Barrier and Challenger and stuff like that, I guess. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, the, that, that Champion spell, that's a big change. That is that is a big change. Um, and so does it make Tarek Lee Sin stronger? I mean, I guess, just because Lee Sin costs less. So, yes, but I, I it doesn't change it that much, honestly. Yeah, it's it is an improvement, but it's not it's not nearly as much as I thought. You know, like like whenever they changed Callista, like Callista like turned into a completely different card basically. And I was kind of expecting that. I was kind of expecting like Callista to just, you know, like how Callista started to do like the level up Callista was completely different than what it was before. I was kind of thinking it was going to do something like that. Um I don't even remember what the other the old Callista is now. That's that was a, a long time ago. Uh, but uh, I was expecting it to just kind of change a lot with these with the abilities, but I guess not. But yeah, the Sonic Wave goes great with Lee Sin, and it goes great with Tarek. Um, that's a big change that champion spell definitely. No warships. No. No. I hate this change. Like, this just kills Warships. You just can't play Warships anymore. And therefore, it just makes the Demacia decks a lot worse. You can't play 1-3s. You just can't. See this? You see this with Boom Crew Rookie. Whenever they change Boom Crew Rookie, it killed that card. You just can't play a 1-3. Like, this is it. that You just made this card not playable. Man, I hate this. And it's not like, I mean, it's not like the Warchef's decks are, are like, dominated or anything, but, like, ah, uh, this hurts. I mean, I just don't think this was a card that needed to be changed. Um, so what about making this a 1-4? I mean, it just, 1-4 definitely would have made it worse, too. A 2-3. You really want, like, you see how good... Uh, Petty Officer is now that it's a 3-2 instead of a 3-1. Getting rid of 1, like having having like both numbers for health and um, for power and health, both of those to be 2 or more is just really important. Um, like 3-1, 1-3, 1-4, like you just don't want to be in the 1 stratosphere because one, 1 damage just doesn't kill very much stuff at all. 1 health dies too easily. You just don't want to have the number 1. You got to have crooked numbers. You don't want those straight numbers. You need to have the crooked ones. Um, this, you said Warchefs was to nerf scouts. That's a, that's a, this is a terrible card to nerf scouts because this, this can go in, in all sorts of decks. If you want to nerf scouts, you nerf the actual scouts, right? Like not, not Warchefs. You need to, you need to nerf a scout. Man, I, I hate this. This makes me really, really sad. I don't like that at all. Okay, going back with Flash of Brilliance. Um, okay, well. So we'll see if... Uh, yeah, they, whenever they nerf Heimerdinger, then also nerfing Flash of Brilliance, that was the biggest nerf to Heimerdinger. So now... Uh, Ezreal's getting nerfed a little bit. Heimerdinger is getting buffed again. So expect to see more Heimerdinger again now. Um... Jack, don't don't be rude. Uh, but anyway, man, I am so sad. I play so many like War Chefs decks that I I just love playing Demacia War Chefs decks. I'm so sad about this nerf. Uh, yeah, the three mana one's the fearsome one. Um, so yeah, this will make more fearsome, which I think is which I think the fearsome turret's good. I think this is a huge huge buff for Heimerdinger. Um, this, 
in my opinion, this is what kind of killed Heimerdinger. Why Heimerdinger wasn't seeing any play was because Flash of Brilliance cost four instead of three. So I, I don't think that there's... While Elusive is better than Fearsome, I don't think it's that big of a change, to be honest. And so having Flash of Brilliance back at three mana could really... This could be a big resurgence in Heimerdinger now. Like, it, it honestly could. This could make a big resurgence for Heimerdinger. Because now you can play... You get to play Heimerdinger with Hush. Ugh. Ugh. You get Flash of Brilliance and Hush. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. It is, it is a good buff to the Improbulator also, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That Tri-Beam Improbulator, that's a big buff there too. Good call, good call. Overgrown Snapvine, now going to be a 5-3. That makes a lot of sense. Um, among the Epic Card roster. Yeah, Overgrown Snapvine, it just... 4-3 wasn't good enough. It really wasn't. Would a 5-3 be good enough? Maybe. I mean, you know, it, I, I like this change of just taking a card that that's not good enough and maybe buffing it up a little bit and just seeing seeing if the 5-3 makes a difference. We'll probably try this next week on Meme Tier Monday. Um, so, yeah, like that's, that's a pretty good change. I like that. Crackshot Corsair turning into a 1-2. Certainly makes that more desirable. Um, Bilgewater... Bilgewater Aggressive Plunder decks. You know what? Those decks are really struggling, aren't they? Yeah, Bilgewater Aggressive Plunder decks. Those are those are just pretty, pretty difficult to play, those decks. So we should probably buff those up. See, this is what you should do. Whenever... So they're nerfing this War Chef so they could see more... Um... They want to see more variety. Well, take take the really crappy two drop that, that doesn't see any play, like maybe like the the two mana elite that's like a, a one four or whatever. Buff that thing up, or buff buff a different two drop up. Don't just get rid of war chefs from the format. So, you know, like they're not just gonna nerf jagged, but you know, like that's like here, um, like the the cheap ones haven't seen much usage outside of jagged butcher. Well, instead of just tearing down jagged butcher, you build up something else. So don't don't just tear down war chefs. Build up something else. Um, yeah, good for bilgewater. It, it could really use it, it could really use that. Demacia Demacia needs to be nerfed. That's for sure. Bilgewater needs to be buffed. Makes sense. Jagged Taskmaster going down to two mana. I, I always thought the Jagged Taskmaster was an underrated card um, at three mana, four, three, but making it a two mana, three, two makes it definitely makes it even better. Wow, that, that's, a, that's a good card, that Jagged Taskmaster. Yeah, that's a good card. That really is. Like a, a two mana, three, two is, is just fine on its own. We've seen that. In just a variety of decks of, of things playing two mana three twos, and now you get a really good permanent buff. Um, yeah, good for Bilgewater. Um, yeah, this I, I've always thought Jagged Tag Taskmaster was an underplayed card. We'll have to play some more of this card. All right, Yorl Grifter, here's the change. We knew this was going to change. What is it going to do? Um, four mana, three, three, allegiance, nab one, and create a warning shot in hand. Okay. So basically it didn't change. It doesn't always just create warning shots for you. You have to hit the allegiance and then you get two cards. So it's still awesome, but it does make hitting the allegiance much more important. Because, Which makes sense, because all of the other allegiance cards, you have to hit the allegiance. Yordle Grifter, you'd still get you'd still get a free card, and then if you hit the Allegiance, you get another free card. So that, that makes sense. That's a good change. That's a good change. Um, yeah, I like that, that one quite a bit. You know, for, force you to, to hit the Allegiance for that. So it looks like they are changing one Targon card, Cygnus the Moonstalker. Instead of being a 4-2, it's going to be a 5-3. Wow. I thought it was already a pretty good curve topper. I did. But at 5-3, that is 
So that's, you know, that's a lot stronger. Five power, elusive, plus grant something else elusive. Um... Yeah, that's that's good. I I would not have been surprised if they would have made this like a four three or a four four, over a five three. If that makes sense, I'm surprised they wanted to keep going up with the power on that. Um, yeah, it does this does hurt Riptide Rex a little bit. I like that. So honestly, I like I like. I mean, honestly, the, this Crack Shot Corsair change. I was kind of sarcastic about it, but it's probably a good change. I like. Um, all of these changes, except for the War Chefs. All of these are, are good changes, I think, except for I hate this. And that's something I haven't really experienced too much of, of just, like, having a change where I just am really, really sad. Because, you know, all of, like, my different, like, Shen decks, like, I need War Chefs, and my Lulu and Shen, and those kind of decks, and just, like, my... My just like random Demacia decks that I like playing. I need War Chefs. I need this card. This card's too important. And it's not like those those decks are like winning by like a mile, like where I can just get rid of War Chefs. Um. So what? What replaces War Chefs? I don't know. Like it's it's been like it is it has been like the most important card in all of those decks that you want to see in your opening hand all the time. So maybe that does mean it's too good, but that doesn't mean... I don't think that means it's too... No, I don't think that means it's too good. I mean, I, it's just a, a really important card for the for those decks. I, I haven't thought that War Chefs is overpowered. Um, hmm. I don't know, maybe... Yeah, maybe War Chefs is still playable... I mean the other yeah we'll have to we'll have to see we'll have to kind of go with each list by list of, of if we'll still play war chefs or not but man i'm real sad about that uh because yeah one one power is just it's so difficult to play a one power or a one health card once you start getting to two once if it's if it doesn't cost one mana it's really hard to play a card that costs that has one health or one power um you know, you could play something like a Maokai that has one power because you don't ever care about Maokai going into combat. Like, you can play, like, those kind of things, but, like, cards that you want in combat and it, they have one health or one one health or one power, either one, it's really, really hard to play those cards. Um, yeah, mentor, mentor the Stones you can because it generates three free cards for you. So, I mean, yeah, it's... <laughs> does that um i think war chefs would be better at, at a two a two two would be better than a one three i would i'd much rather have a two two than a one three a two two trades with three twos and that's much more important than what a one a one three stays alive from a mystic shot i'd rather trade with three twos because uh, just kind of like those early on in the game, those numbers are so important. There's a lot of there's a lot of two twos. There's a lot of two threes. There's a lot of three twos. Um, just kind of like just those numbers, and and a one three doesn't trade with any of those very well at all. Um, yeah, Heimerdinger definitely going to be playable again. This is a big change for Heimerdinger. Big big change for Heimerdinger, and that's fine. Yeah, two two. I would have liked a two two. All right, well, there we go. That's the patch 110. We'll have to see what's coming out in just two weeks. We'll have patch 111, which they gave us a couple of things that we can look for. Maybe a Rillian Soul, maybe Hush, maybe some more Targon-specific tuning after that. Uh, those of y'all on YouTube, leave those comments. What do you think of the Ezreal change? Lee Sin, our, our champions that just changed. Um, and, you know, anything anything else, any of these other ones. Um, you know, let me know your take on, on War Chefs or new Heimerdinger or anything else like that. But we're going to get to our other decks to play. We already played Fiora Dragons. That video was awesome. I'm not going to give any spoilers. I hope you all check out that video um, that's going to be coming out at 6 o'clock Eastern. And then we'll have our other decks too. We're about to go play Gangplank Sejuani now. All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching the live reaction of the Patch 110 Notes.
and I'll see you for the next video.